Hello everyone and welcome to another instalment of Alien Month, where each week throughout October I'll be taking a look at a game centred around the Alien franchise. In this week's episode I'll be taking a look at Aliens Infestation on the Nintendo DS. I originally bought Aliens Infestation a few years ago and I wasn't really that into it for whatever reason. I don't know why, I just got like 10 to 20 minutes into the game and I just wasn't really feeling it so I never played it again. And if it wasn't for this whole Alien Month thing, I wouldn't... I probably wouldn't have ever played it again, but I'm really glad I did because I actually kind of like this game now that I've given it a proper chance. Aliens Infestation is another one of those games that relies on the old Metroidvania formula, which I thought was very interesting considering that Metroid was very influenced by Alien, so I thought that was kind of interesting how, you know, an Alien game is being influenced by something that was very influenced by Alien. I don't know if that's a case of history repeating itself, I don't know if that's the right phrase to use, but... It's something, that's for sure. The game centers around a squad of colonial marines that you can control as you explore the USS Sephora, with each member of the squad representing a life. At the beginning of the game, you can control which member of your squad to control and play as, and then when you die as that character, you now have one less member in your squad. But as your um, squad dwindles down as the game goes on, if you explore, you will find other survivors and uh, marines on the USS Sephora, and you can recruit them as part of your team so I guess it's kind of like what Resident Evil does with the whole conservation but it does that with lives and people kinda not really but it's cool. Speaking of which, the enemies in this game are very strong and surprisingly varied. I expected there to only be a Xenomorph encounter every now and again, but you have Xenomorphs, you have to fight battle androids, um, other survivors that don't like you very much. Also, facehuggers and chestbursters. I didn't expect to fight a chestburster in any of these games. I thought that was pretty funny. The fact that I had to fight a bloody <laughs> worm in this game was funny to me. I was really pleasantly surprised by the variety of enemies in this game and the bosses as well. Well, are really fun to play. Um, not play, fight. Ugh. In a really weird way, there are some parts in the game where it's like Aliens Infestation is trying to create its own canon. Um, there is one boss in the game where it's like, wait a minute, is that supposed to be a thing from the movie? I don't want to give it away, but it's like... It's like the game tries to answer some of the mysteries of the movies in its own weird way. I'm pretty sure the movie came out before Prometheus tried to answer those same questions. I don't know. And not only is it genuinely difficult, but I don't... This might sound kind of stupid to say, but for a 3DS game, I was very surprised also by how genuinely tense and claustrophobic the game can get at times. It isn't the first time that I've ever felt tension and pressure from a handheld game before, the Dimension games on DS. I thought they were very good and tense and and scary in their own way, and um, this game is too. I've never felt it about a handheld side-scroller game. I guess that's just a testament to how well the game's designed. It does feel very reminiscent of Alien. It, it, it was very surprising. All in all, Aliens Infestation is a fun game. It's very difficult, but it's fun. I like it. Um, it's a good game to play on the go. Um, I don't know, if you like games like Guacamelee and Metroid Castlevania, it does what they do. I don't know if I put it on the same level as those games, but it's definitely fun. It's really cool. Um, reminds me of Mercenary Kings as well. Um, I'm just rambling by this point about nothing. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's Aliens Infestation. I had to fart this one out in the, I had to improvise it because, hey, I'm on a strict deadline, so cut me some slack, all right? See you next week. Bye. <laughs>